Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in today's, well yesterday's actually, challenge location. And as I said yesterday, if you guys are very good detectors of the tinge, uh, I don't know if you can even see it here, but this is actually a flag that's going to hopefully, or, or is what I'm going to go through now, it might, be, it might completely be a red herring, but I have nothing else to go on. And uh, I said that I might have a big advantage here that you guys didn't. I uh, moved a little, a few little locations here, and you guys are going to see why in a second. I moved a little bit. I believe I moved two, maybe three, uh, because here was the original location where it dropped me in. And the reason why I did that was because it might have been a little bit too obvious where we were. And actually looking at it, eh, let's call it that we were... Eh, it doesn't really matter. It might have been a bit too obvious what this was, but uh, the flag furled itself, and there you go. So that's what ex that's what happened. I didn't want to do uh, this location was just so cool. I didn't want to just have a big Japanese flag right there. So I moved it a little bit so it would be pretty darn hard on you guys. So if you guys got it right, my God, kudos to you. Unless you somehow know of this location, uh, I unfortunately know, or maybe at least think it's in Japan. And as far as where I think in Japan it is, I feel like it's like one, I feel like it's one of these like, eh, I don't really know. Maybe it's just like, um, like, like some just kind of like strange island, uh, where, y you know, it's like surrounded by a lot of stuff. So, I mean, it could just, it could literally be, uh, in this sea over here. Uh, there's a lot of different islands here uh, all around and it does appear to be, uh, a big open area there, though, so that that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Why don't we go with... Uh, I don't even know where I could begin with. We could go with, like... Um, I, I don't even know. Here, sure. Let's just make the guess. Say it's there. No, we were across in Japan. Uh, actually, very close to Nagasaki. In fact, I don't know if we've already... We've, we've been to somewhere like this before. In a place called Ha Island, off the coast of... Uh, of in Nagasaki so there you go that is pretty darn cool uh, two, uh, 245 kilometers away is how far I got we're in a place called Ha Island off the coast of Nagasaki awesome so there you go now we are going to go to today's regular challenge uh, no on to today's daily challenge all right so here we are in today's challenge location yes so the goal of this is for you guys to write down in the comment section where you guys think this is now for the last little while you guys have been at least well actually, i guess you guys yes because many of you have been incredibly accurate getting the correct exact location super fast just by me panning around but that shouldn't stop you from uh, wanting to uh, write down just a, a general guess as to where this is. Because, I mean, to be honest, in the next episode, you're going to see me making a guess as to where this is. And I'm not going to be accurate. I, I, I'm i not going to figure out where this is. I'm just going to be making a very general sort of guess, and I could be extremely wrong. So it's up to you guys uh, uh, to try and figure out where this is. Write down in the comment section of this video where it is. And in tomorrow's video's comment section, I will uh, write down who was um, the closest and then a uh, special mention also to the people that um, got some uh, pretty good or close guesses or whoever else got it right. So uh, that is going to be the case. And... Um, Hopefully, you guys are going to uh, enjoy. Alrighty, so today is a viewer challenge, as you guys can see from the title of the episode. And this one is brought to us by Lightning1432. Yes, a uh, someone new to sending us challenges. So thank you so much, Lightning1432, for this challenge. I am so excited to give it a shot and see where we can go. Now, this person did say they were new to the channel uh, in their, uh, when they sent me a uh, the, the message that contained the uh, viewer challenge. So uh, we might see repeats of prior locations if they haven't seen every single episode. And honestly, there I mean, there's there's a lot, and they're long. So I mean, they've gotten longer now that uh, the, that the challenges are involved, but they they've always still been relatively long. So 
I mean, that is, that's a, that's a lot of viewing to do. Jeez. So, uh, you, we, we never know what this challenge is going to contain, but I am super excited to try a challenge from someone new. If you guys have never sent a challenge, you guys, I would love to do them. And if you guys have done, don't, don't let that stop you. You guys can just go to uh, geosetter.com. Just Google geosetter, spelled the same way geoguesser does without the last, uh, E. And then uh, you guys can create a custom challenge there, or there might be uh, any other sites that exist that you can create different kind of custom challenges. And uh, there's a lot of cool, uh, there's a lot of cool themes that you guys can do. So okay, challenge accepted, absolutely. You guys can find the link to this challenge down in the description below. You guys can click on it and do that, or highlight it, or whatever. So we are in America, specifically New York State, and Niagara Falls. Uh, it's probably close to where we are, but uh, th that this is you know what? Ooh, hold on No, okay. There are Tim Hortons in America now. I have to remember that uh, That that is true. I mean, there's no AT&T's in Canada, right? This isn't in Canada, but this is in America at least in some places. Uh, it's not everywhere uh, but uh, it is and I mean Tim Hortons the opinion on Tim Hortons is is one that is that that flip flops around a whole lot. A whole lot of people just don't d really dislike Tim Hortons. A lot of people swear by it. Those people who usually swear by it are very uh, are, are sort of older folks uh, that sort of don't know what good coffee is. We are in New York State, but we pretty much figured that out by the abundance of yellow license plates. Although um, there's a lot of the I, I don't know, the, the classic blues, or, or is that something else that we're seeing right here? So what exactly are we are we facing over here? Only, oh my god, look at that, mall entrance. We're at a big mall, uh, right near, yeah, right near the border. I mean, I can tell where we are. We can, we can zoom in and we can go see it, but I would, um, okay, yeah, all right, cool. So uh, Niagara on the lake, so... We are somewhere around here, but we are probably, uh, where is, um, where exactly is Highway, um, Niagara Falls right there. So where exactly is Highway 90? Uh, there's the one, there's Highway 190. Now uh, that's interesting. So we're very, we're right around here somewhere. Uh, but specifically where is a bit of a trickier one for me? Are we in, oh, we might be in, we might be in Buffalo. We might be in Buffalo because here's a highway 90 right here. And where we got some, do we have some cool things in Millennium Hotel? We can go find a few things. Um, meh, something drive. Here's highway 90 and we're sort of exiting, uh, things that kind of make sense. Buffalo, New York. That's really cool. It's a cool place to be. All right, cool. So um, then, where, where, where was uh, McKinley Mall? Yeah, that sounds about right. To be honest, we could we could have been right here on Mile Strip uh, X Way, and then we could have uh, gone uh, this way. So I'm thinking we were probably uh, in that case. I would say we were uh, right right here on Mile Strip XP. That seems to make sense to me. Is there? Oh my God! Look at these lights. Uh, just just going kind of crazy and then there is uh, then there's that but uh, it, there's I, I would say that we would probably be much closer to here because there's a lot where we were there was a lot of uh, like you see there, there's a lot of like like Canada there's a lot of like see Canada America all that sort of stuff so but you know what I'm gonna go with mile strip XP even though it kind of doesn't really make sense and I think we're probably closer uh, a little bit closer to Canada so we could be in we could be in Niagara Falls but then the highway 90 just isn't there is there any other thing that uh, that just sort of makes me think of where we are 190 well this this all this stuff all clearly said just 90 so unless uh, Unless that is just uh, just just secrets and lies, then I don't really know what I can do about that. Like this seem this seemed to be pretty clear uh, that uh, it was that it was uh, Highway 90 and not anything else. So uh, I guess that's what I'm gonna be guessing. Stop me now. Nah, no one's gonna stop me. Uh, Niagara Thruway, St. Mary's. No, nope. all right, let's make the guess. And okay, we were actually pretty close. Uh, we were up 
Wait, which one were we? Which way? Which one did I guess? Uh, I guessed over here. We were in reality right down over here. Um, miles. No, that's where I guessed. Sorry. We were actually up here um, on Millennium Buffalo Hotel. Oh, okay, we were here. All right, cool, very, very nice. Oh, that was that was nice. Thirteen kilometers away. Didn't get the exact location. You see, it's even fun just to be in the in, in big places, even though it's fairly. Uh, it was fairly evident right off the bat. Uh, it was pretty cool. So, oh, we're, I think we're doing a tour of America here. Ooh, this is fun. All right. Well, now the real question is, uh, where are we? This this uh, lady's hair is melting into the grass. That is pretty cool. Um, or somewhere where there's big. Uh, artillery-like cannons, um, someone wearing a, um, a, a tie-dye shirt, we've got, uh, a, a big American flag, we've got a big port with what appears to be some military vessels inside it, uh, reinforcements, uh, re like, reinf uh, reinforced, uh, bank, my god, God, where is this? Well, um, I, I feel like this is like, uh, that we are, we're somewhere over here, and I feel like we're in, uh, uh, like, like, West Virginia or something, or, or maybe, maybe not, maybe, uh, um, maybe we're in, uh, North Carolina or something like that, like, like, so somewhere, somewhere like this, you know, that has, like, because, like, like, look at these, look at these things over here. These look like the color of, uh, that they paint, uh, like, army warships or whatever. Uh, so that's what this looks like to me, honestly. Uh, that, that we're, we're, I forget what, the, what are the places that do this in? It's, I, I thought it's, like, it's, like, Virginia, North Carolina. Those feel like the states that, that, that they build these things in, um, as far as I know. So... I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Honestly, it's a still picture. Not much. I mean, where where have they ever needed such reinforcements and cannons uh, in the history of ever? Uh, I mean, cannons like this. This wasn't. We're not talking the War of 1812 here. So uh, we also should definitely. So the, the War of 1812. You know, pretty pretty gives you an accurate guess as to when. Uh, that was, but would this be from that era? Fuck, maybe, but I don't know. I was na how much was naval warfare a part of the War of 1812? I don't really think it was, uh, but maybe it was. I don't actually know much about it, but that would that that could uh, bring us to places like uh, fuck, I don't know, like Rochester or something. I know Kingston was heavily involved in that, but I, I don't really know. Uh, that that might be stuff up here if that was it. Uh, Civil War. Uh, that would be in the 1850s, right? But that doesn't really, uh, no, that doesn't really, I don't really think that's, uh, that's the case here either. Um, World War II? Well, that could be Hawaii. Uh, stuff happened in Hawaii, but, uh, I don't really know. I mean, yeah, maybe. It was, was Hawaii, uh, built, uh, I don't really know. I don't really know exactly. Uh, story behind that, but I, I, as, I don't know if, I guess Hawaii, yeah, maybe Hawaii, it makes kind of sense, but, uh, honestly, I'm just gonna go with my weird, uh, Virginia, North Carolina guess, and, uh, we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go, well, not Virginia Beach, let's go with Williamsburg, Virginia, that sounds like the kind of place that would build, uh, big, big stuff like this, let's go, like, this area right here, make the guess, and, um, you know what, as far as things go, that wasn't really bad at all, we, were we in, uh, we were in Baltimore, which should be in, um, we were, wait, what? Maryland. Yeah, okay, but where's the, where's the border? Well, I don't, oh, it's here. Okay, so we were in Baltimore. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool, Baltimore. Well, I, I got actually pretty close. We got Fork, um, uh, Fort McHenry, Fort McHenry. Oh, that's very cool, in Baltimore, Maryland. So, yeah, Virginia, North Carolina, uh, that was pretty close as far as things go. 220 kilometers off, 2,754 points. Okay, well, now what do we got here? Oh, okay. Uh, Skeltova, uh, Visky. All right, that doesn't give me too many hot clues, honestly, uh, because the it's not super evident where we are for me quite yet. 
uh, dotted lines on the side of the road. I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, a lot of uh, cars that have, um, they have the uh, European license plates. I am feeling Finland on this one, although maybe, maybe not. Uh, we, we could be somewhere different. I'm not really, uh, these, actually no, Poland is what I'm feeling. That's right, Poland is what I'm feeling. Uh, so yeah, let's, I think we, we might go, we might go for Poland, V's, SK's, um, hard, hard sounds like that, that sounds like, that sounds like Poland to me, uh, what about, what about this, I uh, can't really see anything over there, but, uh, what do we got over here, Kafejnica, yeah, alright, Poland starting to sound pretty good for me, uh, in Finland and Sweden I would expect to see a lot of A's with nice dots around them, um, stuff like that. This this uh, is a little bit different. We I mean we could still be in somewhere like Finland, but I honestly have no idea. Oh, what does that sign say? That says uh, Juanagolia. Okay, well, uh, Poland I think is where I'm going to be guessing. Honestly, where in Poland is is a really good question. Uh, Pilona. Okay, nothing nothing too much for me up there. So let's uh. Keep going down the road and seeing if we can see anything cool. So what have we got? We've got Virus A. Very cool, very cool. All right. Anything anything else that we're going to see that's going to leap out at us? Any uh, patriotic folks around here going to give us a flag? Uh, horses. Ooh, uh, well, that's not a real horse. But uh, some sort of fake lawn horse, lawn ornamental horse. All right, I guess that's going to be it. Let's go, let's go with Poland. Let's go with, uh, like... Uh, Let's go with, uh, I feel like we might be in, I feel like we might be in somewhere like Estonia, actually, or like uh, Latvia or Lithuania. I, I don't actually think Poland is right. I think we might be in, let's go with Lithuania. Yeah, let's go with Lithuania, to be honest. Let's go with Lithuania. Let's go with, uh, uh, sure, pain, pain visi. Uh, and we were in Latvia. Mm, okay, right across into Latvia in a place called uh, Aglona. Uh, okay, Aglona Basilica, 2,860 points. Oh, and a big snowy mountain, but not one we've been to before, I don't think. Been to a few snowy mountains. We've seen a few snowmobilers in our day. Snow machiners, sorry. I, I shouldn't call them. Uh, snow, snowmobile is a good name. Ski doers, as uh, some people would call them, um, but uh, uh, snow machiners—that just sounds weird. But uh, snowmobilers sounds sounds bright, you know. They're th that's actually a good name for them. All right, oh, we we became the second guy, but we want to keep uh, continuing forward because uh, we don't want to. No, don't turn me around. It, oh my God, how did we turn? How do we end up back here? I want to keep going forward, please. Bring me forward. Uh, yo, know, just forward. Yeah. Okay. Bring me forward. There was nothing over there, right? No, there's nothing there. I don't want to see any of that. I just want to end up in a place wherever we are. We're in a frozen. We're in a very f area. We're in an area with frozen lakes and and big river sides. Um, other than that, I'm I'm very lost as to where we could be. Uh, we could be. We're we're in the Arctic Circle. That's what I'm going to go for. We are on a place that has very desert-like shores, but that's, I mean, that's just because there's no plant growth up here. Uh, what the hell is going to, what, what kind of plants are really going to be withering uh, winters like this? I mean, ain't no, ain't nobody got time for that, much less plants got time for that. Plants don't have that much time. Well, I mean, some do. Trees got a lot of time. Are we going to end up somewhere? Or are we, are we just going to have to um, make this guess? I guess we are going to have to make this guess. All right. Well, where are we going to guess? Uh, let's go guess. All right, if we're, um, we could be uh, on here again, but I don't actually think we are up here again. Uh, it seems, things seem a bit different than, than they did before. Why don't we go for, you know what, this actually, that could, that could be fun. Can we go for, we're back here? I mean, it, this, it does seem kind of similar to what we saw last time, but that was much blurrier. That was a much blurrier set of cameras. Should we go for the Canadian Arctic? The Canadian Arctic? Sure, let's go for the Canadian Arctic, um... All up in where where is really mountainous like uh, like here sure here's really mountainous I guess uh, well, it's not really mountainous it's just it's just like fjordy or something uh, should we go for 
Uh, let's go, let's go, like, uh, around here. Let's make the guess there. And, oh, we were there again. Oh, dang it. You guys got a better camera this time, too. You ding-dongs. Last time we were here, we were around, like, here somewhere, and they had a really crappy camera. Oh, well, at least I mentioned it, so that gives me, uh, half points, but 1,722. Uh, I felt, I thought we, we might have been somewhere different, but nope. We were in a very similar location, but different enough for me to uh, believe it was not the same place. So, um, friends, where where are you going to guide me to? Does it are we even moving? I hope so. All right, you guys, can you can you show me where we are in the world, please? I uh, I don't know, and I would love it if you guys would show me just show me show me the path as to where we are. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got a place that looks like this. It, it does look very nice. Wow, this is this is pretty cool. All right, let's keep on moving forward and seeing if we can spot something. Uh, it looks like some kind of um, I don't know. It's like a are these homes or these uh, buildings of some kind of? Uh, is this a school? Maybe, maybe it is. I mean, there's just people walking around, which is why it makes me think this could be a school. She, she, let's go, let's go back towards this big sort of gated entrance type thing. That seems like this could, that could give us some clues as to where we are. Yeah, okay, you, whatever, whatever this is, you are going to show us where we are, right? So we've got cars, and what do, no, this doesn't show me anything. Oh, dang. Okay, uh, do you, is there anything over here? No. Some people walking down the street. Oh, man. Uh, what about the stop sign? Does it just say stop? It does just say stop. Hmm, it's a bit different looking, but that's it's okay. There's some solar power, and then just streets. Well, let's go down one of them. Let's go down this way and see if we can spot anything. I have no idea where this is. Honestly, like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're in like, uh, we could, I mean, I don't know, are we, uh, are we in, where the hell are we? Uh, we're in a place that, um, okay, this thing right here, it says the joy of shopping, bookers, and then it's got a language that looked like this, so I'm thinking we're in India. Uh, I, I, mm, is that really a, a state bank? Keep, uh, keep Goa clean and green. Goa. Where's Goa? What's it? Where, where's that? Goa. Huh. That doesn't leave me with very many clues at all. I don't. I don't know where any of this is. All right. Well, um, let's just keep moving forward and seeing if we can we can see anything more. But I honestly doubt. I think it's going to be the biggest clue that we got. This place is very nice, but Goa language reminds me of what we see over here. Uh, in India, I don't really know. I, I can't really see anything else. I'm going to uh, ignore that for now. Goa. Do we have? The language to me looks a lot like, uh, kind of like this, but not quite. Kind of like, uh, what, what country is this? Is this uh, Burma? Kind of like, um, do we have anything? Eh, no, not quite like that. It looks uh, like, like Cambodia. Uh, how do they? How does Cambodia do it? I don't know. It looks a lot. Uh, we're going to, we're, we, I don't know. I want to call it India. Uh, Malaysia, no. That doesn't really, there's nothing really jumping out at me over here. Uh, Goa just seems a uh, very very strange Indonesia does Indonesia have uh, some kind of special thing going on I don't know maybe Goa I have no idea what that means but uh, let's just go with India for almost no reason probably a silly idea um, yeah it is a silly idea let's go with um, let's go with uh, a place that we're going to call um, let's go with Cambodia make the guess. India it is. Oh, fuck, of course it was India. Hey, Goa. Oh, it's pretty big too. Look how big Goa is. Oh, man. Well, we zoom in one notch and we got it. Goa. I've never heard of that place. But yeah, okay, Goa. Wow. Uh, fa found it. Why doesn't India show me any of that nice writing that I just saw there? Why is it only going to show me this? Oh, dang it. I'm so bad at this. 1,757 points. And uh, there you go. Uh, 14,578. Uh, we got the America guess. This is pretty close. Uh, Lithuania, Latvia, pretty close. India, Cambodia, pretty wrong. I don't even know why I guessed Cambodia. I guess I was just going crazy, just second-guessing myself too much. And then uh, 
Svalbard, uh, I decided that uh, we were in Alaska because it, I, didn't, I didn't think it'd be the same Svalbard we saw before. But uh, I guess they uh, had a different camera, different time. 14,578. So thank you very much to Lightning1432. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.